My name is Michael Rosenberg. I'm the chef at the Broiler at Palace Station. Uh, today I'm going to prepare our Father's Day special. It's going to be braised short ribs with horseradish mashed potatoes, uh, grilled asparagus, and chipotle onions. Uh, it's also going to come with the all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar, as well as a uh, root beer float for dessert. Let's get started. First, we're going to start with a hot pan. That started. We're going to take a little bit of flour, season that with some salt and pepper. We'll mix that up a little bit. Take that short rib. We're going to dredge that in flour, coat it all the way around. We want a nice coating on there. Take a little bit of our oil. Let that get hot. I'm going to take the floured short rib. Place that in the oil. Let that start to caramelize on the outside. Move that around in the pan all the way around and get it all the way crusted. It's going to get a nice coating on the outside of it. It's going to add a little bit more body to the sauce once it starts going. Once that's completely coated, we're going to put that into a separate pan for roasting. Make sure it's nice and hot, sears all the way through, locks in the juices, caramelizes the outside of the meat, adds a different flavor profile to it. We got it just about done. We're going to start adding our vegetables to it. We got onions, carrots, some celery, Whole cloves of garlic. Turn that one last time. Mix the vegetables up. Again, we'll season the vegetables with a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, it's nice and seared. We're going to lay that in there, bone side up. Now this is a little different than the normal short rib that most people are used to seeing. Uh, the, the folks at Nyman Ranch actually take a short rib, debone it, and then wrap it back around one single bone so we get this asabuco like st style that you're used to. Once that's cooked, we're going to add a little bit of tomato. This is all just going to make a braising liquid to cook the ribs in. It's going to make them real tender fall right apart. Deglaze that with a little bit of port wine. A little bit of juice, apple juice for flavor. And just a little bit of beef base to add that little bit of beefy flavor to it. Get that mixed up real well. Once that's all together, you're going to cover up the short rib in the pan, that sauce, cover it up with a little bit of water. When that gets done, we're going to make a gravy out of it. We're going to cover it with foil. We want to place it in the oven at 275 degrees for about three hours. In the meantime, We'll grill off a little bit of asparagus, rubbed it with olive oil, salt, pepper, very simple, nice flavor to it. To speed things up, I have some short ribs already prepared, ready to go. As you can see, the consistency of the sauce is very different. What we did was we strained the braising liquid out of it, 
and then thicken it with root to make more like a gravy. It's going to be our horseradish mashed potatoes that go with it, add a whole different flavor profile to go along with the sweetness of the vegetables. Right there in the middle. We'll take one of these short ribs out that's cooked. The time on the cooking isn't the important part, it's the texture of the meat when it's done. You want it to be almost like pot roast. It's going to be very juicy, moist. It's, it's an amazing thing. Just a little bit of sauce over the top. Take our asparagus. Arrange that. That. And then we're going to finish it with a little bit of caramelized cipollini onions. Just a base baby onion. Very sweet. The extra caramelization on it. We're going to finish it off. A little sprig of rosemary for garnish, color, and aroma. That's our Father's Day special at the broiler. Cow Station, braised short ribs with horseradish mash, grilled asparagus, and caramelized chipolini onions. We'll be open Sunday, June 19th from 4 to 10 p.m. Please come in and join us for Father's Day. To finish off the meal for Father's Day, we got a classic root beer float for you. Very refreshing. Definitely a childhood favorite of mine. Thank you and see you Sunday.